Hey, what's going on YouTube? Lots of people here. So today we got our skits here all cleaned up and ready to go. So now it's time to get to our neighbor's job to block this land and uh, it's covered in gravel. Not really sure what the last people were trying to do with it, but he said, hey, I need you guys to clean this up. Please clean it up. Um, keep the material. Use that as your payment. So he's not actually paying us, but we do get to keep all this gravel and probably sell most of it. I don't know if I want to keep it or not because I don't have any jobs lined up for gravel driveways or roads or anything like that. So it's looking like we're probably going to sell this stuff. And lucky for us, uh, one of the job sites right near us, right actually near our house, they are actually accepting gravel because they need it for some stuff they need to do there. So they will, they're actually willing to buy all the stuff that we have just because of we're right here. Nice easy job. So I think we can actually make a decent amount of money. And we, uh, we still need to pay off the 332 and buy some stuff for it and fix it up and get it all working. But as of right now, I think this job seems perfect for such a nice easy clearing job and so there's a decent chance of making this amount of money and it's really close to our, our house our personal house and also the workshop so we're all good there and it's just awesome using this brand I guess this used 333G this thing's sweet 100 force in real life and lift, lift capacity is insane and the height is also pretty good so pretty sweet machine and it, uh, this thing can lift a lot in real life which is pretty awesome and I noticed in this game too it can outlift most of the other skits you saw in the lot which is sweet so I don't know if the, if the creator did anything special or if it's just somehow better but hey the thing is awesome I know in game this thing says it can only it only has 74 horse but in real life it's funny so I guess we're trying to keep Jeff out of the game, but I don't have any issues with it, but this thing definitely performs like he's got 100 force in the game, so that's, that's what I'm impressed about. Um, I know the cab, the cab could definitely be a lot better, but hey, I'm not complaining. The exterior looks amazing. I think this thing is spot on, so I'm pretty impressed with that. But yeah, so hey, maybe we uh, pay off our debts, get the financing done with this job, maybe. I don't know, the gravel, depending on how much they pay and all that stuff, but it looks like we got a decent amount of gravel here to deal with because of, they got that big mound there, so it looks like we, we must have been trying to fill this a lot with a whole bunch of gravel, but I guess we'll see what we get paid and what ends up happening, but hey, we might have to try to trade in the, the GMC for a nice four jewelry, so, and maybe try to get a new trailer, so... We have a really big job site, we can make those good shoes there, but more than likely, I don't know if we'll ever need that, just because that's right now, it's just me, so I don't think we need to really worry too much about that, but yeah, so right now, it's looking like the uh, trailer is full, so let's go do, let's go dump this at the site. So yeah, it's really convenient that it's just right over here, pretty lucky. Which one is it? Oh, nice right there. Nice easy one. So let's see if we can uh, pull this and back it up and get this dump. Let's see here. Turn this on. Let's see here. Awesome. So now we got that. Now you see. Um, I know what the end of the last video um, let's see here it's not actually selling that which is a problem let's see huh interesting oh well anyway maybe we might just have to um, dump this here and bring the skids here around and do that because for some reason it's not working correctly but yeah so um, yeah I don't know why that is but Earlier is working fine when I tested it, so who knows? Maybe maybe something's wrong. It'd be nice to bring the 332 here, but I know that's getting worked on currently, so it is unavailable. But yeah, let's uh, let's double check to make sure this works. 
Okay, yeah, so, um, I actually need to dump it in here with the skid steer for some reason it's not working with the trailer. So, no worries, we'll just make sure we have an extra car there to, um, just tow this guy over, at least just drive him over just so we can leave it over there. So, yeah, for now we'll just be dumping it right into this and then dumping it over there. So, yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, but, uh, since I have a new channel, I would love to hear more about you guys and just kind of how you found me or just talk about anything. I'm really open and looking forward to building some connections just through this channel. Or if you guys would love, I'd love to play with you guys, so uh, maybe we could uh, play on the PC sometime, have an actual server or something like that. And I also do have FS22. I just don't really care for all the mods they have out there yet. They don't have any of the ones I specifically want or enough construction ones out there that I want, so that's kind of my thoughts on that. But yeah, I'm, I'm really, I like FS22. I got it a few days after it came out, and I think it's a pretty good game. It definitely had some bugs right away. I haven't played it in the last few weeks, so anything I say is still just a few weeks old. I don't know if they fixed everything yet, but yeah, I think it's definitely a pretty cool game. The interface is pretty nice. And I'm just looking forward to all the mods that do come out. I think that would be a nice, nice thing. I really look forward to when they come out with the nice uh, John Deere skid loaders because those are my favorite. Like I mentioned, the first episode. So yeah, um, it's kind of where I stand on this. And like I said, the construction industry. I like farming a lot, but when they come to the construction side of things, that's where more I was raised on. So when it comes to like this stuff, even though it's kind of simple and repetitive. I really enjoy this just because of, I get to do a little bit more construction stuff and it'll be a lot more fun once I start doing some of the excavation just because that is pretty cool. And I still need to decide too when it comes to minis what I do with those because of, when it comes to some of the heavier excavators I've done some stuff in the past. Not recording of course but uh, it just seems like the controls felt a lot more fluid but with the minis it seems like they're all kind of different. So when it comes to that, I'll definitely have to do some practicing. But yeah, other than that, um, just still enjoying this. And this is pretty cool. And if you guys have any ideas, just feel free to please comment down below. And I look forward to hearing them. But yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys once I dump this load and we start loading back again. So yeah, I've just dropped off that second load. And uh, when it comes to this mod, I specifically edited this John Deere buckle to make it have a bearing capacity of 5,000. Um, I did that just because of when it came, it seemed like the bucket capacity was pretty limited. So if you want to do stuff like this, it seems like it would take forever. I think the box that one is only 2,500. So I did test the limits and uh, I think the max this thing can actually do in this game is like 6,500. But when it comes to that, when you lift up here, it tips instantly. So I just left it at a nice 5,000 just so that way it's just nice and easy and you're able to actually drive with it up. I know that's a little unrealistic, but at the same time it makes it a little bit more convenient when you're doing most of this. But yeah, so I'd also love to hear if you guys have any construction experience or any specific brand you guys would like me to try to use because I know the Bobcats could give out a some of these amount of mods in here. There's a few of them that look really nice, really good attention to detail in them, so but specifically I'm always probably gonna use gear unless there's a certain playthrough or request that requires me to use something else. And yeah and with the with the trucks too um, I do own a four dually in real life so that's I'm kinda biased there so I probably will trade in this TNT that I currently have a game for a nice white pool dually just, just so we got that and so yeah. Pretty fun time doing so much picking up this gravel and I definitely hope this uh, customer will be happy and we should make a decent amount of change from this and it's nice and fun. Like it's full. So yeah, I, uh, I'll cut I'll cut through this a uh, little bit. So so 
so I don't bore you with all this. But all right, so for the most part, we have finished most of the gravel. So now we just need to finish up this final bit of gra uh, gravel, and uh, then we should be good. So um, the uh, the buyer actually told me to earlier. They have that specifically marked for it, but they told me since I have so much bulk of it, they're fine if I just leave it around. So. We are all good to go there, and now it looks like we will be going into our final bit. So, this will be sweet. And unfortunately, they won't pay right away. They will mail us a check through their uh, accounts receivable, accounts payable department. So, we will be stuck waiting on that, and let's just hope they pay so that we can help pay off our bills. Awesome. So. We have just finished off this final bit, so that means it is time to drop it on off and uh, drop off the final load and then take this bad girl back on back to the workshop. Probably maybe adjust the track sag. I did notice that it was a little bit loose, so might as well do that as well. Now you guys can fully see that the wipers are still broken and that is why I need a new truck and how much gravel we actually did unload and the customer of that lot actually told us hey look this guy with the bobcat he's pretty pushy and a little bit of a nuisance when it comes to this work so if you are able to get your hands on a mini excavator or anything that can excavate I would love to have you do it I know you do a better job and probably charge a little bit less than that guy and not be as uh, judgy and high maintenance as what he said so I need to reach out to the local new dealer and see if we can rent one so that will definitely be something we can reach out to next episode and yeah awesome so look we just got all that gravel done and we don't have to deal with any of that loading and just wait on the payment for that and hopefully once we get that payment in we can finish that 332 and maybe get that 332 into some job action and that would be pretty awesome. Worst case scenario we can always resell it for a lot more than uh, what we paid for it just because of we paid a lot cheaper price on it just because of it was uh, kind of broken and you know you need to have some skills in order to fix it up and Right now we're just waiting on some parts to come on in and also this check will definitely help pay for it. Oop, let's see here, maybe we went a little bit too far over so hopefully we get on in this time. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, I wish this 333 or the John Deere mod would have the interactive joysticks and just kind of overall a better uh, first person experience because right now it's kind of bland. The joysticks aren't even John Deere. I don't know what those are. but. I'm not complaining as much as I should just because of the exterior is amazing. Whoever created it did an amazing job with the exterior. So yeah, now we're going to head on back to the shop and maybe adjust the track slag. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for the next episode, I'd love to do it. Any specific mini activators or anything like that. So, so yeah, now look at this. We're going to do something a little bit sketchy here in this drive straight on through so this yard right here we actually own this this came with our package uh, we haven't done anything yet so we might need to do a lot of mowing on it but just like that we are here so it saved us a lot of time and thankfully we own most of it so no one could complain about us uh, doing something bad or cutting through their yard and so forth so yeah let's uh, let's take this this bad girl on in and uh, get her set up to adjust the track sag and make sure it's all good to go because we don't want any tracks to come off when we do our next job. Also show you the 332. We might have to do some next next episode we might have to do some mowing. So that should definitely be fun. Ooh geez. Man, hopefully hopefully that wouldn't be too big of a dent, right? But yeah, so we got the 332 hitched up there. It doesn't look like it's too safe, but hey it's just me so OSHA can't complain. I don't have any extra workers here, but yeah. So let's get our, let's get this set up for track tag. So what we want to do is get that up like this, and then we're good to go. Now all we need to do is, if you see this little um, 
nice little rectangle right there. We screw that off, get a grease gun and a wrench, and we're good to go. So, that will do it for this episode, but if you guys have anything you would like to say, please comment below, and I'd really appreciate it if you share this to your friends and comment and subscribe. So, yep, that would be awesome. So, I hope everyone had a good New Year's and a good Christmas. So, yeah, have a good one. Bye.